My work is focused on fiber access technologies for 25 years, and I've been the rapporteur of question two for over 12 years now. And over that time, I've had the great pleasure to watch passive optical network technologies and systems grow to become a dominant access uh, solution. Especially in the last 15 years, PON systems have achieved great success in the market. Uh, the first widely deployed system, GPON, is found almost everywhere now and is used uh, by well over 600 million subscribers worldwide. And what we're seeing is a gradual evolution from GPON to XGPON and XGSPON, which is now being deployed at scale in many countries. ITU is developing the next generation standard to succeed XGPON, known as High Speed PON. High Speed PON is based on a 50 gigabit per second per wavelength technology, and it will have both single channel and multi channel variants. Work on these standards began in 2018 and expected to be completed in the, this year, 2021. Of note, 50G will be the first PON that will use digital signal processing, or DSP. DSP provides so much advantage that 25G bandwidth optics can be used to produce a 50G system. This improves the cost profile of the system because DSP shifts the difficulty from the optical domain where it is hard to cost reduce to the digital domain where cost reduction is inevitable due to Moore's law. So the network operators are active participants in the I2T, and this ensures that the new technology will work for them by fitting into their existing network and have the capacity they will need when the time comes. Uh, high speed PON is no exception to this, has been designed to work with the same fiber plant as GPON and XGPON, which has gone before. And high speed PON offers a uh, five fold capacity increase and is expected to start deployment in a few years from now. The PON industry has been researching such an evolution step in PON capacity for at least five years. And several generations of prototype have already been developed and the results published in the literature. Uh, we know what technology is necessary. Uh, we now have reports of a 50G PON prototype that is based on a commercial PON platform uh, and has already been trialed in several operators labs. So market demand is expected to begin in 2024 and the vendors will be ready to meet that demand. There have been an alphabet soup of PON generations from APON, BPON, EPON, GPON, 10G EPON, XGPON, NGPON2, 25G EPON, and now 50G EPON. And now, a successful technology requires a coincidence of both technical feasibility uh, and strong global uh, market demand. GPON was really the first system to achieve this. Uh, it is also uh, true that not every standardized system becomes successful. Uh, for ex instance, APON was just too far ahead of its time. The market wasn't ready for it. Uh, both BPON and EPON filled a short-term need, but their market was limited and were quickly overtaken uh, by GPON. Given the large size and cost of the fixed access network, upgrades generally uh, come once per decade, and the ITU has done a good job of trying to keep up with this evolution, working to match our standards projects to fit the, this pattern of rollout. Uh, we strongly believe that 50G PON will provide the right capacity at the right price and at the right time.